And another big plus to having Comic-Con back in town is the economy. Well, because of the pandemic, the gas lamp and the city took a hit financially, missing out on the revenue that usually comes into the city during the four-day convention. ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo shows us the boost businesses are expecting during this busy weekend. The gas lamp quarter is the area that benefits the most from the Comic Con convention. You have the restaurants, hotels, and of course the thousands of people that come to spend their money. All eyes are on the gas lamp quarter, and all eyes are on San Diego. <laughs> It's not just Comic-Con fans that look forward to this weekend in San Diego. Comic-Con is our largest show and has been year over year. The tourism industry and the gas lamp quarter know the return of the full-scale convention means the return of millions of dollars to the city. In 2019, Comic-Con had a $150 million regional impact and $3.2 million in hotel and sales tax for the city money the region didn't see during the pandemic, a major blow financially. 10 times worse than 9-11. So we lost 20 years of economic gain when we talk about visitor spend, when we talk about visitors coming to the destination. And that, of course, was at the height of COVID. The Gaslamp Village Association says all their hotels are full for the weekend. And after the convention ends for the day, the crowds head over to the restaurants and shop in the area. People start here and they enjoy themselves and then they spread out all over San Diego and enjoy everything that uh, San Diego has to offer. Both the Tourism Authority and the Gaslamp Village Association say that Comic-Con is the one event weekend that brings in the most revenue the entire year. Reporting in the Gaslamp, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.